Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I'm doing a very quick review on this guy right here, Atmosphere Aerosol, also known as Haze in a Can. Atmosphere Aerosol is a much cheaper alternative to high-end fog and haze machines and I think it's something that every photographer should try at least once. Even though I've only used it a small handful of times throughout the years, every single time that I've used it, it led to very interesting results, which I'll actually show you later in this video. Before I continue, I do want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Adorama. Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years now. Their motto is everyone is a creator and they do their best to unleash that creator within us all by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done. I personally shop at Adorama for the great deals on products that I both use and recommend, plus the great customer service on those products as well. If you find yourself interested in Atmosphere Aerosol or any other product that I might go over in this video, check out the description area below for links to those products and be sure to use those links if you decide to order. As I said before, Atmosphere Aerosol is a much cheaper alternative to very high-end fog and haze machines, but if you guys are thinking to yourself, wait a second, there's some fog machines that are about $60. Well, that is true, but in my personal experience, whenever I've helped assist other photographers use those fog machines, I found the setup to be very complicated and I actually almost burned my hand before doing that, assisting with the fog machine. So if you're like me and you prefer a much simpler way to get some haze in your photography, then I definitely recommend using Atmosphere Aerosol instead. Atmosphere Aerosol is literally inside of a can ready to go after a little bit of shake. It's the size of a hairspray can. You can put this in your bag rather than having to mess with those bigger machines that might spill or might burn your hand. And that's not even mentioning the fact that you don't need any sort of electricity to power the can like you do with the fog and haze machines. What I'm gonna do right now is show you how you would use Atmosphere Aerosol. It's literally just spraying it down, but I do wanna show you guys how to use it because I want it to be in this video for the rest of the video so that you guys can see how it looks like. One thing that's actually really important when it comes to using Atmosphere Aerosol is to have a backlight to illuminate the haze in your photo or video. I actually do always have a rim light right here on the side of me for a little bit of rim light and a little bit of fill on my face. So hopefully that illuminates the haze in the air when I apply it right now. But if not, then I'll actually add another light behind me. All right, so I'm a little nervous. I'm not sure exactly why. I never used it in here. I usually use it outdoors. But let's go ahead and see how it looks like. Again, this is the Atmosphere Aerosol. You're just gonna shake it a little bit. And then you're gonna go ahead and apply it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it around me. All right. Whoa, okay. Oh, it's making my finger cold. Okay. All right. I'm not sure exactly what I was expecting, but that's how you apply it. My finger got cold, so be sure to like have your finger towards the back of the little thing here. So yeah, I'll let it linger in here. I know it's supposed to last about an hour inside a controlled environment like it is here in this studio, but of course outdoors, it's gonna depend on how windy it is. Atmosphere Aerosol recommends that you use it in little to no wind so it doesn't dissipate too quickly, but of course it will linger a bit in here because there's no wind and it's inside. You know what, I did see it a little bit in the video on the monitor that I'm looking at, but I want it to show up even more, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a light behind me and then apply it again. Okay, so what's behind me is the Evolve 200 Pro with the round head attachment at the brightest, I think level three of the monitoring lamp. And it actually does look pretty nice. And you know, there's a nice haze in the air. I know if there was none of that haze in the air, then it would just look kind of boring and just like a solid circle, but it's kind of just blending in. It's very soft and diffused. So let me go ahead and just add just a little bit more just around the smoke or just around the light. And yeah. It looks pretty cool. It's very interesting. I actually want to see that again because it looks pretty cool. You know, maybe I'm not applying it right in you know the general direction that you need to be in, but it looks really interesting. I wanted to go ahead and just answer some of the questions that usually people ask about atmosphere aerosol. And is it going to be safe for the environment? According to atmosphere aerosol, it is. It's also okay to breathe in for normal uses. You don't want to use it like an inhaler or anything. Be smart about it. It lasts about five and a half minutes of use for each can. It lingers in the air for about an hour. I think I mentioned that earlier, but of course outdoors, it's gonna be 
dependent on the wind and how windy it is, it's best to use it in little to no wind. One good question is, will it set off smoke alarms? And the answer is, according to atmosphere aerosol, no. The only way that it will set off a smoke alarm is if you apply it directly into the smoke alarm or very heavily right next to a smoke alarm. Atmosphere aerosol is stain free, so you don't have to worry about staining any clothes. And they also said it's odorless. Yeah, I would say it's odorless. And one thing that they do say on the website is that it might leave a small little bit of residue, you know, nothing that will stain, of course, but a little bit of residue on surfaces that are smooth, like my table here. And from what I can see, it's very, 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 very thin residue that I can easily wipe off. So I'm not too worried about it going onto my desk here. The last question that I wanted to go over is if you can fly with it. And the answer is going to be no. Because of how it operates in a high pressured can, you can't fly with it. You either have to travel with the can or have it shipped to the location that you're going to be going to. Atmosphere Aerosol does recommend accounting up to five days for the Atmosphere Aerosol to arrive because it can only ship through ground shipping because again, the nature of how the can is made. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there were times where I have used it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that on the screen right now. The area that we shot at was in St. Louis at Shutterfest 2019. And the stairs were pretty nice, but using the Atmosphere Aerosol really brought that location up to another level. Here's a quick shot of atmosphere aerosol being applied and I wanted to show you guys this because it is helpful to have another pair of hands to assist you with the atmosphere aerosol because although it is possible to apply it yourself, go in front of the subject and take the picture, it's just nicer to have somebody assist you because it's more smoky looking, more voluminous behind the subject right when it's applied. So you want that person to assist you to apply it move out of the way and then take your picture. And that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever used atmosphere aerosol yourself. I do plan to use it more at studio photo shoots this summer. So I'm looking forward to using it then. I wanna give one last thanks to Adorama for sponsoring this video. It really does allow me to focus on my channel and keep making free content for you guys. So definitely check them out. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.